Hi, welcome to Becky Cortino Live. I'm an author, international speaker, and currently writing a book on forgiveness, and I'm passionate about sharing what I've learned in my writing this book with you. This has been a three week so far series, going to be a, a month long series here on Facebook, Facebook Live, and it's going to be Becky Cortino Live every day during the month of August. Meredith, great to see you. Thanks for being here tonight. So good to see you. Andy, good to see you. Yay, everybody. This is great. Uh, this series is on my book on forgiveness. And the first week we talked about what forgiveness is, what forgiveness isn't. The second week we talked about strongholds that keep us from moving forward in the process. And, <laughs> hey there. And then also uh, those sticky wicked issues that get in the way, <laughs> you know what I mean? Those crazy little things that just keep us from getting there. This week we're going to be talking about moving toward forgiveness and getting to that place. And part of forgiveness is letting go. And that is probably one of the hardest things to do, isn't it? Because that's that little area that we feel that we can exert some control. We can say, hey, I'm, I'm not going there. I'm not going to talk about this. This subject is off limits. You know, I've got this little bit of control. But that may be the very place where we actually need to begin to do that bit of uh, work and moving toward. Have you ever been a victim? <laughs> been left behind? Forgotten? Ignored? There are just so many possibilities, so many possibilities in things that can happen that break relationships and just sort of dash them on the rocks. And the problem is, is that those are hard places to be, of course, but you can't move forward toward forgiveness or in life if you don't let go of something. And, and we have to let go of that. We have to let go of where we've been or we really can't move forward, can we? Because otherwise we're like dragging that along with us, which means we're bringing with us the issues, the problems, the challenges, and all the things that we're not going to do. So we really haven't worked through the forgiveness process at all. So that thing that happened, you know, that thing, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? That thing that happened that caused the problem, that caused us to have this situation with this relationship, that dashed on the rocks and we we're re maybe ready to forgive. Well, even forgiveness will not erase the fact that that thing happened. It won't because it's history. We know that it happened. It happened. And so what we want to do, of course, is to work beyond that point. And what forgiveness really does, and as we move toward that, is it builds a bridge toward what's next. It's not where we are right now, it's what's next. And where restoration begins is where the differences end. I hope that you enjoy my little segments during the week on forgiveness. If you're interested in reading more about the things I've written on forgiveness, they're not excerpts from the book, but just various articles, you can go to my blog, beckycortino.com. I have a forgiveness blog there. And there are links also that are uh, included with this post and you can sign up there also to find out when my book will be available and I hope that I'll get to see you again on another live thanks so much for joining me tonight and great to see you Andy and Meredith take care